Hi and welcome again to uh, part two of uh, Tony's Kind Thoughts and I'm just going to check in with you where you um, got up to last time on that idea of uh, subjective um, infinite intelligence being like the ocean, the seawater and ourselves as the, uh, as the glass, the physical glass with the seawater inside as well. Um, follow me on a little bit more on this video and we're, um, we'll take, take you over to, uh, to a deeper understanding of uh, Truard's book which I can't wait to share with you. I'll see you in a bit. I hope this idea of the glass with the salt water inside in the ocean is uh, beginning to make um, make some sense now. Um, Thomas uh, Troard talks about this infinite intelligence, this subjective intelligence as atom intelligence. In other words, it's the basis of all of our materials and uh, life forms, root of consciousness if you like. Um, just as a side note, I've had quite a few uh, cats um, around this hotel come up to me. Um, there's a lot of cats here and uh, cats coming up and sitting around and desperately asking me about their life. Her. Puss. Oh. So, very, very sad joke. Um, but anyway, back to uh, back to Thomas Troard. Um, Thomas Troard talks about this uh, perpetual hypnotic state that we're in, um, because all the time we're thinking and now about our desires and our dreams or even our worries, that is creating our reality. Um, and by realizing our own dreams, uh, we're actually realizing the recognition of our greater power and also the power of the universe. In other words, the more that we realize our own dreams, we also uh, help the universe uh, develop as well. And being aware of this infinite power is really um, what this short video is all about. Because all creation actually happens in an absolute state. So how on earth do we put ourselves um, in that uh, state in, in relation to subjective intelligence of actually creating? And that's the big question. How on earth can we relate to this uh, power? How can we do that when we know it's inside us and around us, but obviously a very abstract concept? Well, the answer is really to uh, think of things as already here. Think of your dreams and your aspirations as already here in the now. And be the person that you want to be, even if it's in your imagination. That is how you're going to relate to uh, infinite intelligence. So until I see you next time on the Tony's um, Kind Thoughts video 3, I want you to take away that idea for today about the idea of thinking about your creation as already achieved, because then you'll be talking in the same language as infinite intelligence. So until next time, it's all over to you, you infinite spiritual being.